Exclamation, everybody, and welcome uh, to Wing Commander. Yes, this is Wing Commander 1. It is part of the Wing Commander series is my favorite series of games. My first experience with Wing Commander actually was on SNES. So I played Wing Commander 1 on the uh, SNES and then bought the Secret Missions, which was another one for the SNES, and I think those were the only two that appeared on the SNES, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because I did not have a PC at the time that this actually came out. I did not get one for several years afterwards. And even then, I by that time, I didn't really go back to any DOS games that I had missed. Um, so, now that I have GOG, I can go back and revisit all the things. And that's what I intend on doing. Um, let's get our joystick calibrated for a change of pace here. So upper left and then lower right. All right. I hope that's calibrated properly now. Yeah, it looks, that looks better. Um, I have been tooling around with this game quite a bit. Obviously it's running in DOS box. Uh, you probably notice on your screen if I if I've done this correctly, which I don't know I can't tell by looking at my screen, but if you look on your screen, you'll probably see the um, Munt display which is a MT32 uh, emulator so I'm getting the actual emulated MT32 uh, sound effects going on or music and, and sound effects I should say so I've got that going, so we should be getting quality stuff here. Now, you may have recalled if you've, if you've followed me on Twitter a little bit that I did actually get a Roland device here. I have an SC88, um, and I got that because it had the most capacity of all the ones, and it had the, you know, able to go back and pretty much make anything sound really good. In fact, we'll jump into that when I get to Privateer. Uh, which will be the next one on the list, most likely after you know secret missions and all that stuff. Um, but it's uh, does not it does not have an MT32 fallback, um, and it's really the sound is really bad. Like none, nothing lines up properly. Um, your spaceship sounds and your gun sounds all sound like uh, symbols. And uh, it kept flushing up no drum kit, so the beginning sequence there that you heard that was fantastic was anything but. Um, so that's why I'm using the MT32 emulator for this one, because uh, you know I just don't have that hardware. But it, it, without further ado, let's just jump in and, and do our things here. I'll talk a little bit more about how I have this set up as we're going on. Belly on up, friend, and take a load off. You must be memory. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard the Claw. Used to be a pilot myself. Till the flea bag shut me up so bad I couldn't fly. Also, I appear to have an arrow in my knee. I guess I flew with most every pilot on the Claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old Shot Glass is the guy to ask. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. I always wondered what happened to Shock Glass, because I imagine he was part, he was on the Tyrus Claw for Wing Commander 2 when it got destroyed, but who knows, maybe he got lucky and retired. <laughs> or maybe he was two days from retirement when when the Tyrus Claw uh, got slagged. But anyway, uh, we're not we're not there yet. Talk to Paladin. Oh, laddie, take a seat and tilt a glass with old Paladin. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We were flying patrol over Accord, the fourth planet in the Alliance system. And yes, my voiceover is going to be terrible this whole time. These four Kalarathi Southy come zooming in with the sun at their backs. What is the point, monsieur? There is one. What? We? <laughs> oui? I was leading up to it, lass. 
That day we learned that a southy wall is turned to the left. It's got something to do with the way our engines and ducks are arranged. So when you're tell us southy, watch to the left. That's where it'll go when it makes his break. Yeah, my my voiceovers are going to be horrible, and I'm and that was my that was my uh, Wing Commander three. Um, uh, oh God, who was the actor who played Paladin? Um, I can't think of his name now. He was on Sliders, and uh, his name escapes me. But yeah, uh, that was me trying to do his voice. <laughs> That's how bad I am. All right, Angel. Bonjour, Lieutenant. You are called Memory, no? I am called Angel. I am just reviewing some figures on our recent encounters with the Kirathi. Who would like to... You, you would like to know what I have learned, perhaps? The Drathi is the Kirathi fighter seen most in this sector. These figures show that 1.4 missiles are required to destroy the Drathi, while over 7 direct laser hits are necessary to destroy the same vessel. I hope this lieutenant... or information is useful. <laughs> I hope this lieutenant is useful to you, information. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm just so bad. And here's our we're second lieutenant memory all the way down the bottom. We've got to beat Maniac. Maniac Marshall's got five, uh, six kills and five sorties. We gotta wreck his face. Good old Maniac. So before we go too further, let's uh, let's save where we're at right now. All right. Um, I am using the joystick, which is going to be rather interesting. Um, it, luckily, with DOSBox, the version with GOG, the joystick is actually works really well out of the box. Uh, I didn't have to do much with it. Um, what I will say, though, is they default to 4,000 cycles in the DOSBox configuration, and it's really hard. I mean, everything goes really fast. This game is very sensitive to speed, and... It was very hard to keep up with the joystick and everything. So I've turned it down to 3000, which means it's going to lag a little bit, but that's exactly how it works, how I remember it. Um, and hopefully the joystick will work a little bit better. So far, so so good. I can already tell just on the menus here, like it's a lot easier. Like the joystick was just flying across the screen, like barely even touching it. Now it's, it's moving at a good pace, so. Mission briefing, Enyo system, 0600 hours. We've got a lot of work. Oh, the Tiger's Claw dropped from jump space seven hours ago. Blue Devil Squadron had first patrol. You killer bees have the next shift. Your rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first missions. And then he slows down. <laughs> I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. Here are the assignments. Memory, you're leading Alpha Wing. Spirit will fly on your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. You're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen, got it? Yes, sir. Good. Here's your patrol plan, then. Computer, display alpha. You'll check three possible jump points at about 20,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near nav points two and three, so be prepared to hate life. Any questions? Yes, Commander. What are we to do if we encounter the enemy? Engage. If the odds look good, let memory make the control, make the call. Next is Beta Wing. Your thoughts wander as the commander makes the rest of his assignments. Oh, and back to the Tiger's Claw. <laughs> Remember, this is no train sim. If you see the enemy, he'll be out to kill you. Be sure you do it to him before he does it to you. Squadron dismissed. And prepare your butts for the best musical interlude ever. see if hopefully my joystick and skills are good here so luckily it maps directly to your you know the movement side to side up and down uh, it doesn't map the rotation but it does map the uh, fire key and the missile key and that's about it um, everything else I'm going to use with the use the keyboard for the problem is though I don't 
the manuals that came with the game, they didn't they didn't include the reference manual. They included the claw marks manual, which is great. But they didn't include the reference manual that actually tells you the keys. So I don't remember what the match match uh uh okay, I got it, spirit. Just just go break an attack. I don't remember what the match uh, target speed key is, if there even was one. So this is going to be interesting. It's going to be real interesting. Okay. But luckily, since I've slowed the, the simulation down here, which this is actually, I remember this being the speed it was used to run on uh, the SNES even. Um, since I slowed the slowed the simulation speed down, we're having a little bit easier time of things here. Okay. Very good. Now, when I was running this at 4,000, it was, it looked fantastic because it was like, things were just flying by like crazy, but, uh, trying to actually hit the broadside of anything with your, with your joystick, not working. Worked okay with the mouse, actually, ironically. Um, but when, when it came to like emulating the joystick, it was just, this, this was going, yeah, the emulation was going far too fast far too sensitive and there's no way that I know of to change the sensitivity because this was back in the day when you, your, your joystick was about as basic as it could be oh don't fly in front of me spirit please there we go <laughs> I, I kill steel there you get any damage no but our aft armor is not great and by not great, I mean it's gone. Alright. And then, of course, after this, now we're going to Nav 2, we're going to have to deal with asteroids, both at Nav 2 and Nav 3. And this is where I'll cut away and come back, because... It's just a lot of just trying to fly around and avoid things. So, so if anybody that plays this game tells you, dude, d d just to get through it, asteroids are easy. All you gotta do is just go slowly through them. They're a damn liar. As you can see, I've got damage and uh, I've lost my forward armor. <laughs> Thank you for that rogue asteroid that I didn't even see coming. But uh, the show must go on, so let us continue. Perhaps Spirit will pick up some slack here and, and do some stuff. So, break an attack. Although, I think these are just Southie, right? Yeah, these guys aren't that terrible. Let's see if I can not take damage on the front there with my shields. I say these guys are, aren't are terrible, but then they do have guns just like everybody else, so still got to be careful here. Oh, I tried firing a missile and it didn't, didn't work. Come on. Tried firing that missile again and it still didn't work. I think I have to hold the button down. Just pressing it doesn't work. Or I'm just, just not gonna let me. Oh, I guess my my weapons are are too damaged to, to know what's going on. Okay, so maybe my weapon controls are. That's why I'm not firing any missiles. We got this guy now, anyway. He lined up just nice for me. There we go. And that is that, except we still have one more asteroid field to go through. So I will skip past that and join you guys on the other side. 
All right, we've made it through to the Tiger's Claw with our with our damage and all. So let's get a landing clearance. Thank you, Clarence, and go land this puppy. Make sure we approach from the front. It is very sensitive about that. like it got a little hot out there sir yeah no that was that was asteroids dude not the Karathi Karathi did nothing <laughs> they had nothing on me all right mission debriefing second best song ever welcome back memory looks like you survived your first trip out he's a very able pilot commander it is an honor to fly on his wing that's high praise coming from Spirit. You should be proud, Memory. In any case, you flew well out there. I've reviewed the mission report from your flight recorder. Let's go over to mission reports. You got four of the hairballs, Memory, and one Kilrathi for Spirit. It's all then dismissed. Boom, boom, boom. Good old Shackles. Here you flew with Spirit yesterday, Memory. She's quite a she's a quiet little thing, but she's a heck of a flyer. She's rock steady, follows orders, don't fire till she's sure of her shots. I was always glad to have Spirit on my wing when I was still flying. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, it's good until she does a kamikaze run in Wing Commander 2 and, and kills herself, but, well, you, you know, she was, she was great up to then. <laughs> Konnichiwa, memory son, please take a seat. If I may say so, you are doing quite well. Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. There was no need to praise me before him, though, Honorable Second Lieutenant. The credit for mission success is due its leader, not his assistance. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. I assure you that I speak what is in my heart. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Hunter. Your memory, right? They call me Hunter, mate. Good day. Spirit here was telling me about your tumble with the hairballs. Sounds like you're really mixing up out there. That's the way, ain't it, mate? Just you and some hairball twist about trying to get a missile lock. Formations, uniforms, medals, wingmen, that's all sheep dip. All a Bruce can count on out there is himself and his missiles. Okay. I'm not even going to attempt an Australian accent. <laughs> it's not, not even going to happen. Um, Alright, enter the barracks. Or New Zealand or whatever it is. Did we get anything for that? We probably got a... You know, we just got a little campaign metal, metal dinghy. Um, can I save, save, save? How does one? I. That's all I can do is just. I want to save over this one. There we go. Replace. Yep. There we go. And over to the mission hangar. 40 minutes into the briefing. Epsilon Wing is memory and spirit. You'll be escorting a Draymond class transport to its jump point. Computer, display Epsilon. Let's take a look at your flight plan. You'll rendezvous with the transport upon launch. Escort it to Nav Point 1. And on to Nav 2, where it will in initiate jump sequence. Once it's jumped out, you'll return by the most direct route. Remember, your job is to make sure that transport jumps out. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogeys. The enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. Questions? Yes, sir. Why is Nav-1 so far out of the way? There's an asteroid field between a tiger's claw and the jump points. A fighter might navigate it, but a Draymond sport would never make it through. Anything else? All right then, let's get to work. Squadron dismissed. Oops, okay, don't don't crash into the dream and sports. Whatever you do. 
All right, nav one. Let's go escort our buddy here. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll have her break and attack. Couple, couple southy, so I'm not too concerned here, although I do need to keep them from hitting the Draymond. Yeah, these guys are just lining up for me, which is very nice. Cool. Draymond is doing just fine, looks like. Alright. I believe, are we, uh... We're nearly near Nav 1, so we're not gonna autopilot. We have to wait until we we'll get there. Boom, 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 boom. Nobody likes escort missions, but in this game, they are particularly difficult because the uh, game likes to throw some real doozies at you a little bit later on. Right now, this one's not too not too bad, but later on, it will throw some stuff at you. Wing Commander 2 is even worse with that. It, it likes to really punish you <laughs> for things, for, for crimes you did not commit, unless they were in a previous life. Notice enemy ships. Well, then break and attack. These are drouthy, right? Yep. These guys are going to be a little bit more difficult with the dream in there. So if I can get them to line up like this, we'll be good. There we go. To. Don't you fly off. Take some take some damage, you bastard. There we go. Not gonna fly away from me. No sir. the serenade always <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love the dynamic music and stuff in here um, something else to keep an eye out for eventually I mean I'm gonna play a couple wing commander games but at some point I am going to play tie fighter um, I'm a little scared a little scared <laughs> of tie fighter because I remember it being really difficult and I've actually been setting it up on the side here uh, getting it working with my SC88 and all that stuff and so far so good it's working really good with the general MIDI and stuff um, it's just like I said I'm very afraid of it because it's the one thing about Wing Commander 1 is that it didn't really take over your entire keyboard like a lot of flight sims do um, TIE Fighter takes over your entire keyboard and luckily it has like a quick reference in game but at the same time it's like you really need to focus on your power power uh, distributions and stuff like that and when to call for reinforcements and all those things it's it's really cool from that perspective but it's also very um, challenging and you end up replaying things a lot so that's why I'm kind of holding that off for a little while. All right, that Draymond Sport has gone through the jump point. Now, if you were paying attention during the briefing, you know that um, the commander said that there was a, we went out of our way to have one because there was an asteroid field in our way. Well, given that, I'm going to go back to Nav 1 and then back to the Tires Claw in the hopes that I can avoid said asteroids. I want Nav 1, would you please? There we go. 
And now we go back to Tyre's Claw without having to worry about those dastardly asteroids. Yep, that is how that works, friends. Now, the challenge here, though, is I am approaching from the side instead of from the front. So I want to make sure I approach from the front. Otherwise, um, we end up with uh, problems trying to auto land. Also, I need to get permission to land. I just need to be on the front. There we go. Got by clean as a whistle. Guy even gave me a thumbs up. You got away pretty clean, sir. Or as uh, Rachel would say in uh, Wing Commander 3, pretty slick flying, sir. <laughs> Good job out there, memory. The sport jumped right on schedule. You covered her well. Thank you, sir, but Spirit deserves as much credit as I do. Memory son is too kind, sir. I only flew on his wing. At any rate, that was some nice flying. Well, let's review the mission report. Memory, you took out five Kilrathi, and Spirit struck out. The Dream and Sport made its jump on schedule. And Memory, I want to see you in my office in a couple of hours. It's all then dismissed. Colonel Halcyon's office? Memory, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Enyo soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I want you in a Scimitar-class medium fighter with Blue Devil Squadron. And here's where I start to hate life. <laughs> the Scimitar, I hate. I hate the Scimitar. I hate it. I hate it almost as much as I hate the Tarsus from Privateer. In fact, I think I hit the Scimitar more than I hate the Tarsus from Privateer because you, you can get out of the Tarsus pretty quickly if you play your cards right. Yes, sir, you won't be sorry. Good, I'm glad to hear it. It's all then, second lieutenant, dismissed. And I've got a pin of metal on my, on my chest. For meritorious conduct in confronting the Karathi enemy. In Yenyo, system honor about 2654.111. In Terran configuration, Terran Config Confederation is Configuration is proud to present the Bronze Star at Second Lieutenant Memory. Your courage is exemplary of the Confederation's finest defenders. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Do, do. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. 